Doing great as a godfather. Hi, babe, it's me. I'm so glad you called. When are you coming home? Oh, well, pretty soon, but I, I just couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Oh, what good news? Well, I finally did it. I got my first collar today. You did? Are you all right? I mean, you didn't have to shoot anybody or anything. Tell me, what happened? No, no, no. Relax, I'm okay. I, and I didn't have to use my gun. I just caught this guy trying to grab this lady's purse. That's all I'm going to do. That's all? That's wonderful. I'll bet I didn't really was proud of you. She was, yeah. Frisco, I just knew it. You're going to be the best cop in Port Charles. Well, I'll tell you all about it when I get home, okay? When you're coming home, I have something really important that I have to tell you. Okay, tell me on the phone. No, I can't. It's really complicated, and it's kind of urgent. All right. Well, I'll be home as soon as I can. i got to fill out a report, okay? Okay, but hurry, all right? All right, bye. Frisco, I thought I'd save you some time, so I took the oh, arrest report, okay? Oh, thanks a lot, partner. Hey, no problem. You chase them, I'll book them. Well, I'm going to put my gear up, unless you need anything from me. No, you go ahead. All right, thanks again. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I don't understand why you're doing this, Felicia. Anna, I'm not doing this by choice. But it has to be reported. I don't think Felicia's guilty either. But $45,000 is a lot of money. Yes, it is, but there has to be some explanation. Felicia is not a thief. As I said, I don't believe she is guilty either. I didn't want to have to come here and tell you this, but the banker insisted. I didn't want you to hear it from him. Are you sure that she signed a deposit for $50,000? It wasn't just $5,000. I'm positive. Well, let's go over everything that you've told me. I'd rather do that before I invite Felicia in here for questioning. Now, you say that she always makes out your deposit slips, right? Yes, that's right. Now, does she always check the amount in every single envelope for cash? Well, usually, uh, Felicia is very thorough. Anna, can you think of any reason why Felicia would want to do something like this? No. No, I can't. After all, I, I recommended her for the job. Frisco, I'm glad I caught you. Oh, what's up? I overheard something unbelievable. It was Chief Devane and Duke Lavery, and they were talking about Felicia. What about her? Frisco, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, it sounded as if Duke was accusing Felicia of stealing from him. That's ridiculous. I know, but they sounded serious. Duke even said something about the bank being involved. The bank? Oh, this is crazy. I mean, Anna knows, even if Duke doesn't, that Felicia should never take a nickel from anybody. Frisco, they were talking about $45,000. Forty? Oh, no, I know they're out of their mind. Hey, I swear, that's what I heard. That's why Duke wanted me out of Anna's office. He's accusing her of stealing, isn't he? Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go straighten him out. Wait a minute. Before you go in there and blow your stack and get yourself into any more trouble, maybe you should talk to Felicia. Maybe there's a good explanation why the money's missing. Well, I just talked to Felicia. She said she had something urgent to talk to me about. Maybe she knows she's been accused. No, she would have... She would have told me. What, what did Anna say? Now, she doesn't believe Lavery, does she? All I heard... Well, she said she wanted to go over everything again before she brought Felicia in for questioning. Questioning? And she does believe him. I don't know, Frisco. Now, she sounded just as shocked as I was. Whew. She was awful anxious to talk to me. Then go home, talk to her, ask Felicia what is going on. Did you hear anything else? I mean, why does Lavery think Felicia took the money? Well, something about a deposit slip. Felicia signed a deposit slip for $50,000. Well, don't they think if Felicia would have stolen that kind of money, she'd have taken off? As I said, I don't think Anna believes that Felicia took it. And Duke, he was trying not to believe it. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, I'm gonna head home. There's gotta be a simple explanation for this. Right. They're gonna okay. set a squad car for her. She's gonna be awful scared. So, thanks. I've checked the entire precinct. Well, when did he check out? That's the thing. He didn't sign out. He didn't sign out? Oh. 
Did anybody see him leave? Well, the desk sergeant said he was a little too busy to question him, but he saw Frisco leaving in a big hurry. Now, do you really think Frisco's gonna give you any information about his wife? He would if he knew anything. But quite honestly, I don't think I didn't know anything about your money, Duke. Well, what is the explanation? I don't know. Something strange is going on. Yeah. Like what? I don't know. Chief, have you called Felicia at the apartment? Yes, I did. She's there, but I don't want to ask her any questions over the phone. Please, would you send a squad card to bring her in? Chief, she's a cop's wife. Oh, does that mean she's going to get some special treatment? I don't like this any more than you do, Captain. However, Felicia has been accused of a serious charge, and I want her brought in. Right. Anna, I know Frisco and Felicia are friends of yours. I didn't want to involve you in this. It looks like you didn't have any choice. Well, I had no choice. By the time I discovered the money missing, Felicia had already left the office for the day. Well, you should think that if Felicia had stolen a large amount of money, she wouldn't sit around her apartment waiting to get caught. Well, perhaps she didn't think the money would be missed so quickly. Felicia is far too small. I, I don't know what's happened to your money, Duke, but I know that Felicia is innocent. Well, I hope you're right. But I had to have it reported immediately, otherwise my insurance policy would not cover my losses. I understand. When we find Felicia, she'll give us a good explanation about what happened.